What's happening guys, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild, as you could see it is quarter to, well coming up for ten to six in the morning, so I think it's a perfect time to start the day, now the wind is blowing to the west, so I think we should head further east. I said in the last episode that I was going to buy some DLC, I haven't bought any yet, I, I am going to, I'm actually probably just going to buy them all if I'm being honest with you, but for the meantime I'm going to persevere with what I've got because I think, well actually, I don't think, I know that I was a little too hasty last time and I was taking shots that were probably out of range of this rifle given the fact that it is not the most powerful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it a little bit more cool this time. I'm going to hide a little bit more, try and be a little bit more quiet. I'm going to pay attention to the calls. I'm going to try and lure some animals in, especially the deer. And let's see if we can get any kills. We have another question mark point of interest up ahead. So we'll, we'll go to this. It's just in front of us. I am going to try and not sprint, it's difficult to do that when every other game that you play involves sprinting. I'm just going to have a little look around as well, make sure I'm not... Oh no, actually it's one of the things, that we've seen them in the first episode as well. There's nothing here anyway, it's quite a good vantage point but there's a lot of trees so... We'll get this first and then we'll have a little look around. Survivalist, cutting tool, cover, flint and steel, rope, container, awareness and curiosity. There we go. Oh, level up. Let's have a look at that. That's a perk, actually. So we definitely want to upgrade rifles. So this unlocks the ability to read your next shot without leaving aim mode for rifles, shotguns and handguns. Um. In fact, that's all we can do because the rest of them are locked, so that's fine. We'll go to that. I don't know what it means by that, though. Unlocks the ability to ready your next shot without leaving aim mode. Right. What is this in front of us? Why is it not letting us check? I did watch a couple more videos on this um, and a lot of the guys I've noticed are using the binoculars instead of the rifle scope. They're only using the rifle scope when they spot an animal. But what I did notice as well is that they're using the range finders. I don't think they're using the stock ones, which is what I have. So I won't be doing that just now. That's a rabbit. I'm not bothered about rabbits, if I'm being honest. I would rather go for something more like this and it's running away oh no oh, let's calm down a little bit yeah I think we missed it just as I said let's not get too hasty and then I go and pull a shot like that I don't think we hit it at all there was another call going on over there as well I'll come over here and check but I don't think we hit anything Nope. No, we didn't. That was expected, if I'm being honest. That doesn't help that I'm running again, though. I'm going to head down this way, actually. I'm, I need to pay more attention to the way that the wind's blown. We're not going to do ourselves any favours if we are going with the wind, so... Right, there's a black-tailed deer calling. So what I would like to do is, it's over there, so, if we crouch, can we hide in here? Is that going to give us enough cover? I don't think it is. Maybe in here. There we go, that's exactly what we need. Right, so if we go to our... I think it's this one. Like 
Let's see if it comes towards us. We can't see it, so it can come from anywhere, really. But we just wanted to get close enough so that we could take the shot and then claim it. Hopefully it's the male that comes along as well and not the female. I think we get more money for the male. I think. I don't know. I'm presuming if I'm being honest with you. Right, I could hear something. There it is. Right in front of us and we did not have our gun ready because I am an idiot. Here we go. Where are you? I can't see. That was a big splatter. Vital organ hit. Where did you go? Where did it go? Medium bleed rate, so it should be down here. There it is. Uh, there we go. Could have been better. It could have been a... Where did we hit it? In the left lung. So we're going to get 747 cash for that. So, yeah. We're going to need all the money that we can get. So, I think this purple area, the one that looks like a big bruise, is because we've killed an animal here, I think the animals in the surrounding areas knew that there was some sort of activity going on here and I think they're going to try and stay away from this area so it makes sense for us to head out of the area. Now this is just based on one of the videos that I was watching, I can't actually remember who it was that done it, but I'm just going on that information that once you've had a shot, once you've killed an animal in that area, it's probably a good idea to head away from the area and start somewhere else. So I think we're just going to head in the direction that we're going and we'll even just have a look to see what this is. So let's see if we can get anything on the way. It would help if I put a waypoint down though, wouldn't it? There we go. I think I'm going to change the colour of this as well. I did notice that you could do this, so let's go to system. Let's go to game. So the active track and spotting outline colour. Let's go to let's make this torch red. See if that makes any difference. Yeah, I could see that a little bit better. There we go. I think that's better. And I am running again. So I need to get out of the habit of doing that. How fresh is this? Fresh. Let's just go further up here. See if we can maybe lure this one in as well. It's saying fresh, I don't know. It's walking, so if we if we hide in here, maybe I wonder if right, I'm stuck on something. I wonder if we can bring it towards us again. So if we go to I think it's the second one in. I know nobody's called us, but I'm hoping in fact, I didn't even see what that was. I'm sure it's for a deer. Let me just see if anything comes towards us. Something's making a noise. I don't think it's me. No, it isn't. I'm making a noise when I'm turning. There are some uh, missions as well, I think, that we can do. But I do want to get a little bit better first. I, I do want to just sort of get a little bit more used to the game. Right, I don't think there's anything here, so 
I'm just going to walk away from this while still walking in this direction. Still walking. Yeah, see the droppings are old, so... Let's follow these ones now. See, I like big open spaces like this. There's a couple of them. Actually, there's some of them that are even more open than this. And it just gives you a good... A good um, view right out. So this is a black-tailed deer warning call. So that means it's close. So can we hide anywhere? I don't think we'll be able to get away with hiding here, will we? There's a line there, but it's not an invisible line. I don't know if you'll be able to see us in that. No, that's a rabbit now, right? Let's have a look at this. See if anything comes along. There's a deer over there, right? So let's get our gun ready. Hopefully it comes a little bit closer. Could I took that shot there. But then I'm going to scare away the deer. There it's here. There it's here. I am zoomed in as far as I can go. Oh, stay still, stay still. I think we got it, but I don't think it was a very good shot. Right, so the deer's going up there. Let's follow it. Did that just hit the deck? I think it did. There we go. Boom. Right lung this time. It was left lung the last time, now it's the right lung. So, 772. Again, we will take that. We're just trying to build up our... our cash just now so that we can... Well, our cash as well as our XP just so that we can... improve on some guns and things. What's, um... It sounded like something was scurrying right beside me. What I did do in the last episode is that some of you may have noticed. I didn't because I've never played the game. Um, I actually bought ammo that isn't actually compatible with this gun. So I was wondering why it wasn't... Oh, this is a drinking zone. I was wondering why it wasn't working with this gun. And that's... Well, there's a perfectly good reason. That's because it's not compatible, so... Hopefully some of the DLC that I do purchase, whether it be in the next episode or, or maybe the next couple of episodes, I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll have a look and see if we can use the more powerful ammo to hopefully take down some moose and things like that. I don't think this gun... I think it will take them down, but I just think it'll take a little bit more... a little bit more shots... Which obviously we want to try and avoid. If you're going to be hunting, that's you want to get rid. Well, you want to down the animal as quickly as possible. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I just want. I thought I'd said inspect, and I've just went and built this. Right, if we've built it, we may as well come in. We're back down to fourteen hundred. We're actually doing quite well there. Never mind. Let's just have a little look, see if there's anything out here. I know that we can shoot the birds and things, but... I need to improve on my skills, because even when I have the my breath held in the game, it still seems to be a little bit shaky, so I'm hoping that with more skill points, that stops, because it, it's a bit annoying, if I'm honest. Right, that's us not far from this point of interest. I think it's one of those one of those structures again that we need to build, so I need to remember to not press square this time. Look at this. Big open area. This is exactly what you need. Yeah, it's twenty one hundred, so I can't even buy that even if I wanted to.
weren't we actually here? This place looks familiar. And there's a... What is this, a moose? Yeah, I think it is. Let me see if I can... Hide, and then I will sneak up on it a little bit. Yeah, stop running though. I don't think I'm going to be able to take this down, but I feel a little bit more confident taking a female down than a male. And I, I don't know if that's just me being daft or not, I don't know. They're maybe just as strong as each other, but... I'll certainly give it a go. But they do have... I think it's... I don't think their eyesight is the best, I think it's their smell. Their sense of smell. Is that already... Took off? I think it probably has. Because I can't see it anywhere. Yeah, I think it's took off. Unless it's just up behind these trees, but I don't think so. We'll still have a look, though. Because there could be other things out here. I mean, it's a, a big open space, so... I got the fright of my life there. I don't even know what it was. Or where it came from. There's not even any tracks. Here we go. I don't know what this is for though. Hopefully it's for that miss. Oh my goodness. What a fright I got. Hopefully that doesn't come for me. Yeah, that's off. Or is it? I think I could see it moving in the background there. It's here scurrying, what's this? I think it's a rabbit, I'm not interested in them. Well, I am, but I, I would much prefer this moose if I'm being honest with you. That's if it's not already ran away. Right, it's in front of us. We have been following it for quite a while. There we go. We got it. Ooh. I thought it was going to attack us there. Hopefully it's bleeding. Bleed rate is very low. So I don't think we hit a vital organ. But I don't think that matters. I think I made that mistake in the last episode when we hit one and I didn't think that it mattered towards where is where am I going? I didn't think it mattered towards the right there we go back on the trail yeah um, in the last episode we hit something and I decided not to chase it because the blood rate was very low and I just assumed that it would probably not be enough for it to heal but I don't actually think that's the case I think the animal still dies it just means that you need to track it for much longer so that's obviously what we're going to have to do here which is fine we'll just keep tracking it and hopefully we will find a a miss a, a dead one very soon I'm still tracking this moose and I've seen these glowing Look away. You found a shed. I've already got a big enough collection back home, so I've started selling any new ones I find. People often buy them for handicrafts, you know. Knife handles and such. I once sold a really nice moose antler for 500 bucks. Not bad. And there we have it, right in front of us. 
So it does die, we just need to follow it for much longer. So here we go. We actually did, we hit it in the right lung. So it just goes to show that... If you want to stay busy on the road, oh, I'd keep a lookout for sheds. You know, antlers that are shed by the reserve animals? They're rare to find and very popular to collect. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. So we hit it in the right lung, which is a vital organ. But I think it's just all to do with our ammo, if I'm being honest with you. I don't think it's it's anywhere near good enough to penetrate it for it just to die instantly. But what I did notice on the left-hand side is we're only getting 498 for this. We got more for the deer. And I think it's because it wasn't an instant kill or a close to instant kill. I think because we had to track it for so long, it's... Obviously, I think the cast just goes further down the, the longer you, you have to track it for, or the longer it lives for, should I say. But we'll take it. We will take it. I think there's a... Is that a... Right, put your phone away. Is that a rabbit here? No, it's not. I look like a rabbit there. So, we'll head down here, we'll maybe try and get one more animal for today and then I think I'll call it a day after that. I would quite like to get a black bear if I'm being honest with you, but I don't, I don't know if they would be, I think a black bear would be just as easy to kill as a deer, possibly. I don't think it would be up there with the moose. Because I think a moose is just a, a big sturdy, a big sturdy animal. Whereas a black bear, I, I think I would probably categorise it more, more with the deer, in terms of how easy it is to kill. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But there's no tracks or, or anything. I'm going to actually take that waypoint off because it's, it's not where we're actually going. Doesn't seem like there's anything so far. And I don't want to start running because we will scare things away. What time is it actually? It is just after ten past eight in the morning. That's actually not bad going. A few animals killed. It's looking very peaceful. In fact, no, I was going to say maybe we're in one of the hunting zones, but that's not the case. Although we are close to a couple of them. But I don't think that really matters too much, if I'm honest, as long as we're not in them. See a big area like this? There's not a single track to be seen. Right, guys, I'm going to end that episode there. We did manage to kill quite a few animals, um, so I'm fairly happy with how it turned out. I think in the next episode though I am going to probably do more of the mission. I think it wants us to go, um, if I bring the map up, I think it wants us to go further over this way um, to help someone out. They, they mentioned the name in the first episode, I can't remember what it was now. So maybe we'll look into doing that. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you'll join me in the next one.